Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 627 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In his evening video address, President Volodymyr Zelensky warned that we are almost halfway through November and must be prepared for the possibility that the enemy may increase the number of drone or missile strikes against Ukraine's infrastructure. Quote, Russia is preparing for winter, and in Ukraine all our attention should be focused on defense, on response to terrorists, on everything Ukraine can do to make it easier for our people to get through this winter and to increase the capabilities of our troops." Unquote. He thanked all the partners who have helped Ukraine with air defense. According to the head of state, the Ukrainian sky shield is already more powerful compared to last year. It has greater capabilities, but unfortunately it does not yet fully protect the entire territory. Colonel General Oleksandr Sirsky, commander of the Ukrainian ground forces, informed about the intensification of the Russian forces' activities on the Bakhmut front in the Donetsk region, reports Radio Liberty. Sirsky explains that the Russians seek to regain the ground they had previously lost. However, the general said that Ukrainian defenders are responding expertly. The commander visited military units performing combat missions on the Bakhmut and Liman fronts. Later, Volodymyr Fito, spokesman for the Ukraine's ground forces, said that Ukrainian troops will try to cut off Russian forces' supply chains when cold weather arrives and freeze them out of Ukraine, reports Ukrainska Pravda. According to him, the weather will play its part in military operations. If it starts raining, fewer aircraft and attack drones will be deployed. It will also be more difficult for military vehicles and equipment to move. Artillery, however, will be used as much as now. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. <music> President Volodymyr Zelensky informed that since the creation of the United24 online state fundraising platform, more than 490 million US dollars has already been raised. Zelensky thanked everyone who continues to support Ukraine. Last May, the President announced the launch of the United24 Global Initiative, the first component of which is an online fundraising platform. United24, through the website u24.go.ua, u24.go.ua provides an opportunity to donate in one click from any country. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.